Okay, so I'm now going to show you how to set up this with Wi-Fi using the WPS button. So it's already set up. Uh, if you, it's already set up, and it's already set up, you just want to push this and then use like use a small thing like this. Uh, on the side, what will a reset button will be? It depends on the location of your Wi-Fi extender and the, and the wall name. So you press and hold. And then you release. You see all the lights turned off. So for my model here, you see it's up at where the WPS button, which is the gray button. So, so it may look like the Wi-Fi thing is on, but that's just the uh, that's just Africa from the power light. So you want to make you want to wait until the the flashing light stick goes to solid. For the power light, you want to make sure that it goes solid. Right now it's booting up, which is why the reason it's flashing. But once it goes solid, then it will go through the next steps, and then we'll be able to set it up. So you can also use, you can also connect it using the Terra app on your iPad and iPhone or Android for devices. But now it's solid, and now you want to press the W press one on the side. And the Wi-Fi light will flash. Then you want to go to press the one on your router, which is mine's over here. You see that one will start flashing as well. And now uh, it takes a takes a bit of a moment for them to connect. And once they are connected, uh, then you will see all the lights here on. Like the two four G and five G both on, and then you can use the t then you can connect connect this to your device and use the Tether app to adjust things here. So it's still flashing. That has gone solid green, which means that it has finished stuff on the router side. And just it the uh, Wi-Fi extension just result it just so on so. Oh, and the Wi-Fi thing turned off. And in a few minutes. You was, you should see. Yep. So it, it connected and to four G and then the five G lights up. Lights up as you can see. And there we go. You got your you got a, your Wi Fi extender connected. So and you should be able to connect to it using using your device. So so go to settings. Go into here, and then you want to search for the correct network. It will be e it will normally be marked as EXT, but I think yeah, there we go. Connect with EXT. I'm gonna put my camera down. Oh, it connected to the wrong one. Oh, so this is my networks. Anybody knows the password, so it's, it connects this. And if you scroll down here to the Tether app, then find the correct model. It wants you to create a new passcode when you do it, but once you create a passcode, you should be able to you should be able to configure it. So you are still technically using a title app to just manage manage the extender. We ha we never used the title app for setting up the Wi-Fi extender. We used the WPS button for that. And the WPS button is slight is slightly faster, but but uh it'll it'll only it will configure with EXT in its name. So once you put in your, your passcode here, which you gotta create your own passcode, you got it's gotta be within a couple of digits. If I just type in random um, random characters, go to next. You see, you see here it says please enter one to fifteen characters using the letters, digits, and underscores. But I'm not gonna set up passcode yet, so I'm just gonna back out. But once you set up a passcode, you'll be able to configure the device. And if you want it in extend mode, change the name to the same name as your Wi-Fi router. So, so that's basically it for you. Just to know on my pads, uh, it's always this landscape orientation, which it was wishing to rotate, but oh well. But uh, this will also work on your phone. Uh, it can be any device. It should work on Android as well, not just Apple devices. Uh, and uh, and adding the device should be should be similar to Android, and and then once you do that, you'll be able to 
And once you use that to manage, you'll be able to manage if you want 2.4G on or off. And once you have that set up, you should be good to go. That's about it. That's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. And smash the like button.